Cool. Okay. So, hello. Welcome back to uh, what seems to be Groundhog Day. Um, back to lockdown Zoom session. So, yeah, it's a footwork based session today, and we're going to do some footwork drills, some basic hand drills, and then also going to do some circuits, of course, because no session would be complete without circuits. Obviously. Okay. So, crack some tunes on if you want. Um, and we're going to get started with a warm up. So, first up, just loosening up, shaking out your muscles. Kicking out your legs. Throwing out your arms. Nice big arm circles. And the other way. Now we're going to sidestep and move our arms across. Make sure each time you're alternating which arm is on top. Uh, we're going to go forwards and backwards with the arms going up. I'm going to quickly mute everybody. Jokes. Cool, so keep going. Jumping up and down again. Gonna go into a little star jump. And out. From here, we're going to do a fly jack. It should feel this in your chest. Back to that little bouncing on the spot. Bringing up your knee every other bounce. Okay, now we're going to kick the bum. Come up to high knees. Back to kicking your bum. And high knees. that little jog and a punch out in front nice straight arms turning the wrist over right at the last minute full extension and to the floor to the ceiling All right, back to the star jump. And relax. Okay, well done. We're gonna jump into some of the footwork drills now. So the first one, I want you to do a high knee pause. So we're going to do five 
raises of the legs. So these are the high knees, we can do them fast. And then on the fifth one, you're gonna pause, okay? So one, two, three, four, five. 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 It's going to require a little bit of coordination, a little bit of balance. So we're just going to run through that. And we're going to go in three, two, one. Right. Okay, next ones. I'm going to reset this timer. Are going to be crossover feet. So I want crossing over, forward and back, and then forward and back. Yeah, so If that makes sense. <laughs> so going side to side, back to the middle, forward and back, back to the middle, side to side, back to the middle, forward and back, etc. Okay, we're gonna go. Three, two, one. Time. Okie dokie. So, next one up, we want to have the feet together. We're going to draw an X with our feet. So, we're going to go clockwise first. So, I'm going to start here and draw an X with my feet. So, you're going to imagine you're doing, you're hopping to draw an X. You're going to go in three, two, one. Off we go. We do a minute one way and a minute the other.
Bending in 10 seconds. And going the other way. Last 10. Three, two, one, time. Okay, so next one is where we need our little objects. So I'm going to name one out something like this. Basically, you just want a little bit of a gap in between them all so you can step in and out in your boxing stance. So for the first minute we're going to be in our boxing stance and we're just going to be moving our feet in and out. Making those minor little adjustments that mean we can move our feet in and out of range to get between the two markers. Coming out again with our hands up adjusting our feet, coming back in, small movements, etc. Okay, so we're going to do one minute, just footwork, no punching. We're going to go three, two, one, You don't always have to go the full way round, you can go in opposite directions. Make sure your weight is nice and central, so you're not leaning too far forwards, not taking steps that are too big. The feet always come in and out in your boxing stance. Heel off the floor, nice and light on your toes. Hands are protecting your face. Okay, in three seconds, we're gonna start introducing the jab. So every time you come in, I want a jab. Make sure that jab is a nice proper one. Nice and snappy, nice and full extension. Wrist turns over, come straight back to your face. Other hand is protecting your face the whole time. Every time you come in, I want a proper jab. Once you're out, you can bob and weave. Readjust your feet, coming in again.
and time. Okay, this time we're going to do the same thing, except we're going to come in with our feet and we're going to throw the jab on the way out. So what I want is I've come in, I'm in between the two markers, and as I step back, I'm going to jab as my opponent is still coming towards me. So I'm jabbing on the back foot. So I'm going to go jab, now I'm out here, I'm going to come back in again, use my footwork, jab on the way out. Moving my head, I'm going to come in, jab on the way out. Yeah? Okay, we're going to go in five seconds for another two minutes. Hands up in your boxing stance, off we go. This is really useful if you're facing an opponent who's coming forwards a lot. They might be a really aggressive boxer. They might be shorter than you. What you want to do is extend the distance between you, get out of the danger zone, and keep them thinking about something whilst you're moving backwards. So you're not just running away passively, you're still defending yourself and giving them something to think about whilst they're coming forwards. 15 seconds more of this. Time. Okay. So next time, I want you to rearrange your things a little bit. So it's going to be concave this time. So this time, we're working our way around our opponent. So, in fact, I might rearrange it a little bit. Do more long ways. So if we imagine our opponent is somewhere here, we're going to work around them. So I'm going to move around. I'm going to come in. I'm going to jab, jab, jab all the way in. So it's going to be quite hard to get my feet and my arms in. Hopefully this will be a happy medium. So we're going to be jabbing as we come in, moving out into the next little gap, jabbing, moving out into the next little gap. So for all of this, you're using your footwork, you're going left and right. So make sure that you're able to go left and right equally easily. Um, this one will challenge you Make sure you're still throwing those jabs nice and snappily. Okay, we're gonna go in three, two, one.
Okay, now we're going to start adding the one, two in. Still got to make sure you're in range. So you've got to come out and then back in again before you throw that jab back hand. Make sure we've got nice technique for both of those shots, especially with that rear hand, make sure that hip's turning. And time. Okay, so grab a quick drink if you need it. Then I'm going to start on some punching drills. Okay, so as we've been doing, we're doing footwork based drills. So the first one is going to be a really simple one, two, step out, one, two. So just like we were doing in that drill last time, we're going to be throwing straight jab, straight backhand, and we're going to step out, we're going to come back in again, we're going to throw another one, two. So what that should look like is in your stance, step out. Throw that jab as you come back in, driving off the rear leg. Nice, strong jab, and then follow that up with a lovely big backhand to show them who's boss, okay? So if you want to add to it or make it slightly more challenging, change up the way you're stepping out. You don't have to always step backwards. You can step to the left or to the right as well. So if you're getting bored and feeling unchallenged by the stepping out and in, making it linear, try, try uh, going laterally as well. So we're going to go in five seconds. Make sure you've got nice, strong jab and backhand. Moving off, once you finish the combination, moving your head. Make sure you move once you throw the combination. Don't stay still. Don't let yourself get hit. Moving all the time, moving your head, moving your hands, moving your feet. Imagine the shots that you're avoiding by stepping out here.
time. Okay, next one, we're going to do a double jab, then a backhand, so very similar to what we just did, just double on the jab first. Then we're going to step to the outside, so for, uh, for orthodox boxes, you're going to your right, south pause, you're going to your left. Um, and then we're going to uh, follow that up with a jab, backhand, lead hook. So it's a, a six punch combination, it's a two phase attack. So double jab, backhand, step off, one, two, hook. So focus on those two separate parts. Double jab, backhand, stepping off to the outside, one, two, hook. With the hook, make sure you get lots of hip rotation. Same deal with the backhand, um, just to generate lots of power. We're gonna go in five seconds. Three, two, one, off we go. Remember, moving off once we've done the combination. Try and make it as quick as you can. So with that step, you're changing the angle on your opponent. So you can gain an advantage on them, land that backhand and land that hook. Push them back with a double jab. Follow up with a nice big power shot with the backhand. Step off. Finish them off with a jab, backhand, lead hook. Okay, so next one is a very simple two shot, two defense, well, two shot, two movement uh, combination. It's a really, really good one to get you extra power on the lead hook. So most times you would expect your opponent to throw a jab and then their other hand. However, if you try and confuse someone with a jab, step off, and a lead hook, they're more than likely going to expect you to be throwing the right hand next, or the backhand, sorry. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix it up by throwing the two left hands, essentially. So the jab is to test your range. You're going to come in with your footwork. You're going to step forward. You're going to drive off with that rear foot. Step to the side and forwards. And then that gets you into the range to land a nice, close, clean, hard hitting hook. Okay, so once we've done that, jab, step, hook, roll out the way. Jab, step, hook, roll. So I don't mind if you want to do a different defense at the end, um, but just get out of the way in some way, moving ahead. I'm gonna go in five seconds. Three, two, one, off we go. So we're using our feet here 
to get us into a better position. <laughs> Using our feet to our advantage. <laughs> Once you're inside, you can throw some more shots. So after you've done that roll, if you want to add to it, feel free to add the right hand or another hook. Time. Okay, we've got one more drill and then we're gonna do a circuit. So the next one is, we're just going to, kind of similar to the footwork drills we did in the beginning, you're gonna throw constant jabs, going backwards, and then you're gonna plant your feet and drive a big backhand in. So depending on how much space you have, maybe you could go back for two or for three shots, but I want you to throw out a stiff jab. It doesn't have to be really hard. You're just stopping your opponent coming too close to you whilst you retreat. So at some point, when you decide that you want to really let rip, you're gonna stand your ground, you're gonna plant your feet, you're gonna drive in that big backhand. Make sure you're using your hips here. I wanna see, well, I wanna imagine that all your legs and your feet are coming to this angle, to face in the direction of travel, to, to make your hand travel nice and strong. So it's gonna drive all the way through, come straight back. So we're gonna go backwards, 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 plant and drive. So I'm gonna jab, 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 stand, drive. So once you decide you want to let rip, plant your feet, go for it. We're gonna go in 10 seconds. Don't forget you can go, don't always have to go in the same direction. Three, two, one, off we go. <coughs> Moving your head, moving your feet in between. Also doing it going round in a circle. So you're pivoting on the front foot.
And time. Okay, so grab a quick drink if you want it. We're going to get started on circuit. Um, yeah, we're going to do some hard ones, some easy ones. So go grab a quick drink and we'll get back to that. Okay, so the way we're going to do this is we're going to do pairs of exercises and we're going to do them in A, B, A, B format. So each of them we're going to do twice, but we're going to alternate between them. Um, it's going to be 45 seconds on with a 15 second active rest. Um, if you get really knackered, feel free to make that a passive rest. <laughs> um, if you're doing your active rest, just, you know, jogging on the spot nice and gently, keeping your heart rate high. So first of all, we've got mountain climbers. So I want in the press up position and you're going to bring nice flat back, gonna bring your knees in, run like this. Um, and then the other exercise, which is slightly easier, hands on your head, calf raise. Don't let your heels touch the floor. Really squeeze at the top and then gently back down. So we're gonna go in five seconds. First off is those mountain climbers. Three, two, one, off we go. Really driving those legs up. Halfway there. Fifteen seconds left. Three, two, one, up on your feet. If you're doing that active rest, you can recover like this. Going into those calf raises. Three, two, one, off we go. Squeezing at the top, not letting your heels touch the floor. So always in a nice tiptoe position. Squeeze at the top. And rest. Going back to those mountain climbs in 10 seconds. And catch your breath before we go down for those. Three, two, one, off we go. About halfway. Three, two, 
one, up on your feet, into that active rest. Nice deep breaths. Three, two, one, into those calf raises. Try not to let your heels touch the floor at any point. Squeezing at the top. You need these nice, big, strong calves to get lots of spring in your footwork so you can explode forwards. Okay, active rest. So the next exercise is a split jump, going down into a squat, exploding and rotating around, followed by a runner on one side, plant one leg and pump the other one up and down like you're running. Okay, so starting on the split jumps. Should be able to touch the floor in the middle. To do it low impact. Just do it nice and slowly without the jump. and time into that active rest. Remember the next one is a runner. So we're gonna plant our feet and go. Pumping your arms. Wanna get your knee nice and high. Moving as quickly as you can. Five seconds left. And into that active rest. Going back to those split squats. And, oh no, too early. <laughs> Off we go. Going down as low as you can and exploding up. And relax. Back to that active rest. Straight back into those runners, same leg.
Keep it going, nice and fast. Pumping your arms. Last five seconds. And time, back to that, to rest. Okay, so the next set of exercises, the pop squat down, bring your toes together, and then the runner on the other side. Three, two, one. Pop squat, legs are wide, shoulder width. When you go down, bring them together when you come back up. Touching the floor between your legs. Five seconds to go. And back to that active rest. Remember, it's the other leg this time for those runners. Three, two, one, off we go. The more you pump your arms, the more of a full body exercise it is. Try and get your knee nice and high up towards your chest. Last five seconds. And time, back to that jumping on the spot. This time we're going back to our pop squats, remember? Three, two, one, off we go. And time, watch the active rest. Last one of those runners now. Coming up in three, two, one. to rest. Next one, gonna be a jumping jack, plus a wide squat with a leg raise. Gonna alternate which side we do it on. Three, two, one, off we go into the jumping jacks. Keep your arms nice and stiff. Don't want them to be bent. Makes it easier.
Last five. And into that active rest. Next up, we're doing that wide squat with the leg raised on either side. So plant your feet nice and wide, deep, nice wide squat, raise one leg. Try and keep yourself balanced with your core nice and central rather than leaning over. You want to use your hip flexors and your hip abductors to get your leg up rather than using momentum and balance. And time, back to that active rest. This time we're going back to the jumping jacks. Three, two, one, off we go. And time. Next up is that wide squat with an alternating leg lift. Going in three, two, one, off we go. And get those legs up as high as you can. Nice and slowly up, nice and slowly down. Keeping the weight on the back of your heels when you're doing that squat. And relax. Okay, so the final set is going to be quick feet in a squatting position and then normal squats. <laughs> so this is going to be pretty torturous for the last 45 seconds. Okay, three, two, one, down in squat position. Give me your feet as fast as you can. The lower you go, the harder it is. Moving them as fast as you possibly can. 30 seconds down, 15 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one into that active rest. Next up is just straight, normal squats. Feet shoulder width, hands on your head, right in front. Off we go. Try and keep your weight towards the back of your heels. That way you work in your quads and your glutes. As you stand up, squeeze 
Thrust your hips forwards, squeezing with your glutes. Back to that to rest. Last one of those quick feet coming up. Three, two, one, down in position. Last 15. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Ready to go for those squats. Last exercise. In three, two, one. And sit down on your heels. Squeeze with your glutes and thrust your hips forward as you stand up. Nice flat back the whole time, looking straight ahead. And time. Okay, well done everybody. Have a quick shake out. I'm gonna jump into a cool down. Don't forget to, uh, to pay for your session if you can afford it, if you have a job. Um, Paul has very kindly put a link in the chat. So if you can pay via PayPal or on the website we have um, a session fee option on our, on the merch section of our website. Uh, feel free to chuck some some dosh that way. That would be really much appreciated. Um, if you really can't afford it, of course we don't mind. You've training for free. Happy to have you. Um, but if you can contribute, please do. Um, fantastic. Okay, so we're going to jump into a cool down. Bring our heart rate down nice and slowly. I am super sweaty, and it's not just because the heating's on. So I hope that you are too. <laughs> okay, so we've done a lot of work with our legs today, so I think maybe we'll start there first. So gentle rotations on the ankles. Make sure you get them going both ways. And we're gonna go into a little downward dog. Pushing backwards so your chest is going towards your knees. You should feel that if your feet are flat on the floor in the backs of your legs. Once we've done that, we're gonna extend out into more of a kind of press up position. And you're gonna put one foot on the other heel and push into the floor. You should feel that all down this calf here. And change sides. And stand back up. Feet together, hands on your knees, we're gonna rotate. And go the other way. And standing back up, grabbing one ankle, make sure your knees are together, push your hip forwards. You should feel that all down the front of your thigh here. Relax, change sides. Good. 
relax again. I'm going to reach up towards the ceiling, deep breath in. And as we exhale, we're going to touch our toes. One more time, this time try and go a little further. Stand back up, feet at shoulder width, hands on your hips, nice big rotations. And the other way. Very nice, make it a little bit wider. Lean on one bent leg, stretching all the inside of this straight one. And change sides. Back to the center. This time I'm gonna take a big step forwards. Rear heel off the floor. Should feel that all down this front leg. Change sides. And relax. Uh, open and shut your leg. Same on the other side. Okay, now I'm going to keep the hips completely still. I'm going to rotate the upper body. Still going to keep our hips still. We're going to rotate over, stretching out all down the side of our abs. And the other side. Standing back up, one arm across your chest. And the other side. Both fingers together behind your back. Bring your arms up as high as you can. If you want to get an extra stretch, you can dip over. Let gravity help you. Stand back up. Fingers together in front of you. Tip your head slightly, soften the knees, pushing out, leaning to one side, leaning to the other side. And relax. Big shoulder rolls. And the other way. Last one, look to your left, look to your right, look up, look down. Gentle rotations. Other way. And one last shake and we're done.